Thank you. Precious dears, precious dears, uh, you that may be visiting, I understand there are a few visitors here, and uh, you that have been here with me for a little while, I, I say it like it is, and I say it as I see it. I would not be a good doctor if I examine you and discover there's a cancerous growth in you and just give you Pepto-Bismol, tell you all you have is gas. Tylenol for the pain, anesthetize your pain, and send you on your merry way. You're dying. The least I can do is carefully get up to it and tell you what you have has normally been untreatable. Or there is hope and we're going to try this in a little. But to tell you nothing. I'm not being fair. I'm derelict in my duty as a pastor. How many of y'all saw Come Sunday? Now, for you that don't know what it is, don't be glad about it because I want, I want to tell you some things. Number one, that is not the way that thing happened. Maurice was there. At, didn't you go to the hospital in, in Washington? You were there? First of all, several things about the movie I want to say. It's on Netflix. It's called Come Sunday. First thing, the first thing. Dr. Lafayette, I did not call that boy. I never called him. So that's the first lie he put in there. That I called him and invited him to the college to the Joint College of Bishops. I didn't invite Carlton Pearson to the Joint College of Bishops. He called me. He called two or three times. Sister Teresa Hatton answered the phone. I asked Teresa Hatton, find out what he wants. And then he called me again, happened to catch me in that office up there, and said he had a revelation from God I didn't believe that to start with that's the first part I didn't believe that it was from God I believe he had a revelation he had a nightmare from God I don't believe God said anything to him he called me and said he wanted at least an opportunity to come to the joint college and explain himself I think that you Pentecostals and you Christians, you Christians, right there, tell me he wasn't taking ownership. Say, so you have it wrong. I've been preaching it wrong all these years. And I just want to explain it. I said, all right, you can come, you come on your own dime. Use your own money to come. He came. I turned the microphone over to him in that college of bishops. About 500 bishops were in Mount Calvary Holy Church. 
I let him talk for an hour and a half uninterrupted trying to explain his inclusionism doctrine. Parts of the doctrine. Everybody goes to heaven in the end. Folk that don't believe on Jesus still get to go. He did say it. Now y'all that was there, y'all know he said it. He said they go. Butchers, murderers. Somebody hollered out, well what about Edie, our men? He said he's going. At that time Edie, our men was cutting grass in France. He was a gardener in France. He lost his position in Africa. But when he said, God himself is going to have to apologize to Satan. I'll never forget it. A shiver went over all of us. And my traveling partner there. And he he going to have to apologize to Satan. And all the folk you say is going to hell won't go. Because there is no hell. And I said under my breath to myself, won't you be surprised on that great getting up morning? when you don't hear the alarm clock. We let him talk an hour and a half and then I turned to lose five bishops to answer him. Uh, the man from Indiana just preached here the other month. Tavis Grant. Bishop Tavis Lane Grant was the first one took his doctrine apart piece by piece and went to his seat and sat down and I don't remember the exact order of the rest of them Bishop Clifford Frazier Bishop Donald Hilliard that's three got one more I can't remember right in there no that's the last one there's one more right in there before Everett but when old man Everett got up he got up and said, Brother Pearson, I believe in inclusionism. And then he told Pearson how to be included with God. <laughs> Bishop Everett, James Everett from New Jersey, turned the place out. I had given instruction that nobody clap, nobody get happy, nobody holler, glory, yeah, all right, or, or boo, or none of that, not a sound. But whenever it got up and got started, you couldn't contain the house. They come and just shouting and going on. It was a mess in there. And I stood Brother Pearson up and dismissed him. If you saw that movie, he didn't ask me any questions. He didn't ask me anything about my father. What he did was he got my book from Ghetto to Glory and he read my story about my life and then he made up his own movie. He never asked me a thing that day. He wasn't allowed to. I said, you're here to defend yourself. Explain your mess and that's it. And when he finished, I said, thank you for all that you've said. Are you ready to repent and recant any of it? Not one word. I said, then we are at liberty to call you a heretic. You are a heretic. You're an enemy of God. And in hell, you will lift up your eyes if you don't repent before death comes. Now you're excused. You may leave this assembly. He went out the back door down the steps. Put him in my car and sent him to the airport. 
and haven't talked to him from that day to this. So the movie is just theater. He just needed to make some money. He can't keep a church. Don't be gullible. Don't fall for... And his theme was not love. In that movie, he talked about the love of God. No, he didn't. He denigrated everything we believe in Holy Scripture and said there was no need to turn to Jesus for salvation. That's false doctrine. The Bible told me to tell you these things so that you're not caught up in foolishness and believe everything. Beloved, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits, whether they be of God. And how do you try the spirit? You don't try the spirit by the spirit. There's no such Bible. People say, try the spirit by the spirit. That's not Bible. It's not in the Bible. Try the spirit by what? The word. That's why I'm a little wary of folk always hearing from God. The Lord talked to me last night. You know, I ain't never known God to be such a blabbermouth until I got in holiness. God talked one time. He talked in his word. He said what he had to say. And anything anybody says that doesn't square with the word of God, it's a lie and it's false. And if an angel come from heaven and preach anything other than what I'm preaching here even now, the Bible said, let him be accursed. Curse out an angel. Now, I know he going to hear that I said all this and they going on, going on the, what is that that we on? We Facebook live. My wife is in, uh, in Dallas and she, She's nervous right now, walking up and down in her mother's house. She's watching. She's watching me. I love you, baby. <laughs> I ain't got nothing but good to say about you. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want Pearson to be saved. Let me explain something. I believe that Donald Trump can be saved. But he's got to turn to Jesus. He's got to surrender all. He's got to believe on him as the scripture said. And out of his belly will flow rivers of living water. Y'all paying me any mind? Ain't no need, no need in us playing with this. Either we believe what we say we believe or we don't believe this. But there are many ways to many ways to, to New York. I said that's going to New York. I can go 80 to New York or 76 over the Pennsylvania Turnpike. And take 90, go to New York. But there ain't but one way to God. There ain't but one way, just one. Somebody holler one. And if you want to know, you want to know what that highway is, you want to know what the way is, Jesus said, I am the way. I, I, I'm the truth. Quit playing, quit playing. Quit playing around with this thing. Either we believe it or we don't. Either it's so or it's not. Hallelujah. So ain't no need, ain't no need me apologizing. I ain't apologizing for nothing I said. And I didn't say much that day. But I'm saying it now. If you don't repent, if you don't turn from your wicked way, if you don't turn to Jesus Christ, 
the Christ of the Calvary in hell you'll lift up your eye hallelujah but if you will turn he won't put you on probation he won't drag you around he won't tease you he'll come in and save you he'll abide with you hallelujah all right i i i knew i was gonna do this i knew i was gonna do it but but this but this just settles it hallelujah i'm not doubting about the way i'm walking in the light holiness is right i'm not doubting about this way thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus all right uh, that's sermon number one hallelujah 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 that's it that's it you can't play with it you can't play with people about this you hear me Sheila you can't play with it it's got to be this way or no way at all hallelujah 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 I'm not trying to denigrate anybody's religion I'm not trying to denigrate anybody's religion you go on and have your religion your religion to carry you nowhere you got an eternal God to face and he ain't playing glory to God hallelujah you've got to do it this way you've got to come to Jesus can't just jump over Jesus and go to God because when you get to Jesus you're at God you've got to deal with him he's the only God I know and he's the only God I know that had the nerve to die make up his own body and then die thank you Jesus and then get himself back up nobody ever died and got themselves up but Jesus and I know he got himself up because he said he would and I, 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 no man takes this life but I'll lay it down and I'll pick it up again Any God that can get himself up can get me up. Thank you, Jesus. All right, I'm, I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. I'm going to stop. I'm going to just stop. That's all. I'm going to just stop, Wilson. Stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop, baby. I'm going to stop, baby. I'm going to stop, mom. I'm going to stop. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus believe on him as the scripture said and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water Thank you. <clears throat> Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Now, precious dears, precious dears, I'm going to ask you if you will. Get your tithe and offering ready. Up, 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 up. <clears throat> Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Well, 
What did we start the service with? Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Who Jesus is. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. All right. Get your tithe and offering ready. Get your tithe and offering ready. Thank you. Get your tithe and offering ready. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 hey. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. And let me let me tell y'all something. Don't ever be ashamed. Hey, Edie, don't ever be ashamed of the gospel of Christ.